Sijui kama ni mimi ndiyo si kukumbuka lakini niliona kama si kuimba verse 3. Nivyo? Oh, haya basi tuimbe. Verse 3 si atu kuimba na niliona ni tamu sana. Kwa hivyo mkiimba muki mjiwange tunaona <laughs> na tunasikia. <laughs> na mtuhudumie vizuri. <laughs> sasa mkitupa kartazi alafu muruke verse 3 sasa tutafanyaji. Aya, wacha tuseme Yesu yu pamoja nasi daima. Three sing. Yesu yu pamoja. Wacha wanyo watu, watu ambi. Aya. So wameimba vzuri leo Wapatia ni maji Peke hao, wale wameimba peke hao na Hivi hivi mpaka juu Kuna watu pale juu Saai joto linawaka juu yao na mna hivi They just need a bottle of water Unaweza achaje hii number 3 Yesu pamoja nasi daima Yupeke yupeke Kwa usiku aleta salama Ay Ho Watoto wakuje tuwaombe. Aidhe naendelea nikihubiri nikimaliza. Ukiwa na ngoja mahubiri pengine hakuna. Waletee maji muwape waimbaji wetu. Tuimbe wimbo wetu, watoto wetu. Are we ready? Jai Bita Jesus never fails Jesus never fails The people of the world can let you down But Jesus never fails Jesus Jesus never fails Jesus never fails the people of the world can let you down, but Jesus never fails. The people of the world can let you down, but Jesus never fails. Thank you. We are ready to pray for you. Uh, munga kipenda mwezi wa December, tutakuwa na wiki ya watoto kwa ikanisa. Most likely second week of December. Tutaomba na nyinyi, tutawasaidia, tutawazungumzia before Christmas. Mumeka vzuri nyumbani na mtaenda Christmas mzuri. Na tuende happy new year vzuri, January trudi shule. Wazazi tunyoshe mikono kwa watoto wetu tuwaombe. Mungu baba, mungu mwana, mungu roo mtakatifu, tunakushukuru kwa watoto wetu. Baba ni asante, tunawaombea watoto wetu wavlana kwa wasichana walinde. Kuna wale wamefanya mitiani. Tunangoja matokeo yao na watoto wa glory wote wamepita katika jina la Yesu. Asante mfalme kwa ushindi na neema na kibali juu ya maisha yetu. Wale mfalme wanaendelea na mitiani tunawafunika kwa damu ya Yesu Kristo. Uwe pamoja nao walinde wamalize vizuri, tukutane, tuendelee kushukuru mapenzi yako. 
Tunaomba Bwana kupitia watoto nyumba zao zibarikiwe. Yule ambaye ana baba na mama, Bwana uwabariki hawa wazazi. Yule analindwa na relative any guardian tunazunguza baraka kwake. Kupitia hawa watoto tunatangaza hizo nyumba hazitapungukiwa. Hizo nyumba watakula, watakunywa, watavaa katika china la Yesu Kristo. Baba ni asante. Tunakupenda, tunakuheshimu, tunakutukuza milele na ni kwa jina la Yesu watu wa Mungu tuseme amen. May the Lord bless you. Naomba uangalie bronjua yako huko nyuma scripture of the week. Bronjua yako huko nyuma na kila nikiangalia hii bronjua na sherekea kazi ya moja wetu Ken kuhakikisha maono haya ameyashika na kuyaendelesha nowadays i do a very little work uh, he does almost everything scripture of the week to some pamoja read yourselves of all the offenses you have committed and get a new heart and a new spirit why will you die people of israel ezekiel 18:31 from the new international version inspirations number 1 the place exactly Matthew 11 28 number two yes first Samuel 14 7 number three a crisis and move forward Exodus 16 6 number four often comes when the hour of trial is darkest second Kings 1960 number five season needs faith to get us through it. Ecclesiastes 3-4. Hallelujah. Bwana amezungumza mambo yote kuhusu fatherhood, destiny, blessings. Na nilizungumza hiyo jumapili iliyopita. Alie na masikia weze kusikia. Kwa sababu baraka za baba zipo. Na nilisema baraka ni kwa njia mbili. Mwenyewe unaweza kuzitafuta. Ama unaweza tupiwa tu bora kutupiwa. Make use of that time and may the Lord bless you. I want to bring the message from the book of Haggai, chapter 2, verse 20 to 22. We read in Swahili and allow me to read from the new international version which I have with me. My Bible says the word of the Lord came to Haggai a second time. On the 24th day of the month, ukitaka clarification ya hiyo, unaangalia verse 10 of chapter 2. It was around December, the 24th day, ambayo neno labwani likuja kwa kaya. Number 21, tell Zerubbabel, governor of Judah, that I am going to shake the heavens and the earth. I will overturn royal thrones and shatter the power of the foreign kingdoms. I will overthrow chariots and their drivers. Horses and their riders will fall, each by the sword of his brother. Wana wa mungu, maneno yako hapa, mazuri, makubwa na mazito. I bring the message, a time to look forward and be hopeful. A time to look forward and be hopeful. Munga metutunukia heshima, mwaka mzima, kuleta neno lake kwetu, kutoka kitabu hiki chahagai. Kuna binti moja ambaye ametunukiwa heshima sana katika muji huu. She's... <laughs> Na nikamuambia ukubwa wake ni kwamba, Haggai has only two chapters. That is how big Haggai is. The first chapter has 15 verses. And the next one has 23. If you put 15 and 23... Kitabu kikubwa 
cha 38 verses. Bwana amezungumza nasi mwaka mzima. Na hata leo anasema it is time to look forward and be hopeful. Praise the name of the Lord. I will bring to us three truths that can help us to be men and women who can be hopeful, look forward, and continue in the Christian walk. The name Haggai means festival in Hebrew language. He prophesied the year BC 520 to the people who had returned from 70 years of exile in Babylon. The main agenda led by Governor Zerubbabel was to rebuild the temple that was brought down by Nebuchadnezzar's army in BC 587. The year 587 before Christ was born in Ajulikana Kama, the year of the fall of Jerusalem. Wakati Yesu alikuwa naongea mambo ya Matthew 24, siku za mwisho zinakuja. Kuna waubiri ambao wameubiri waki extend paka the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Well and good. But Jesus' focus was more on a few years just when Nero burnt Jerusalem. Na akatekiteza Jerusalem yote. At this time, the prophet is seeing something that will happen hapo mbele. Na anaanza kuona mambo ambayo nimeita makubwa nataka kujumuisha kwa ufupi. But let's go first with the fall of Jerusalem in 587 before Christ was born. The remnants and those who had returned from exile began the work. But they had been unable to complete the work. And for 15 and 16 years, the foundation just laid there. That is why Haggai anakuja kwa akisema ya kwamba munaendelea na kazi zenu na mijengo zenu na nyumba za kifahari zenu na nyumba ya Mungu meiacha ukiwa. Na sababu hiyo mutapata shida katika maisha yenu. 15 16 years nothing was happening. Through the ministry of prophet Haggai and his contemporaries Zechariah the temple was finally completed. 520 and 516 before Christ was born, the temple was completed. One thing I love with God's work, done God's way, ni lazima ifike mahali mungu ajitukuze nayo. Hallelujah. Four messages were preached and thank you worship leader. Umekua nami kwa first service and thank you for helping me to preach uh, our dear son came. The first message was about conviction. Chapter 1, verse 1 to 15. Ushawishi ni wamaana na neno lolote ni naloleta kwetu kila jumapili. Ambia munga kusaidi. Wale nilikuwa nao kwa ibada ya kwanza hapa. Waliimba na kama waliongea. Na wakaguza mistari moja sana napenda kutumia wakati ninafanya the prayer seminars uh, uh, trainings. Ya kwamba buwana anamutafuto ukurasa wapili if you have that book of the prayer seminars, utaiona hapo. Inatoka hapa chini kienda page 2. Ya kwamba mungu anapendezwa na watu wanao eh, tetemeka kwa ajili ya neno la mungu. When God speaks to us, it is important that we tremble. And such like men who tremble at the word of God and humble themselves. Mungu huwa anawaini. Mungu hawezi kupeana hii njili kwa kanisa la Glory Baptist mwaka mzima. Na bado uendelee kujiona ya kwamba hawezi saidika. Wewe ndiyo mpotezaji. Bwana wa mbinguni akusaidie. Ujue ya kwamba Mungu ana sababu ya kuleta hili neno. Na sio kwa ajili ya kanisa lote, ni kwa ajili ya mimi binafsi na ni kwa ajili yako binafsi. Conviction the second message from chapter 2 is comparison. Whereby chapter 2 verse 1 to 9, Haggai is saying, Mimi niliona hekalu, lilo jengwa na Solomon. Vijana wenye wametoka captivity, hawa kuona hilo hekalu. And that's why shangwe zenye tumekotu kufanya hapa zinatofautiani. 
na wakaanza kusema ya kwamba ukweli ni kwamba hekalu la, la Sulaimani hili lenye tunajenga haliwezi likafikia however kuna hekalu dumu ni wandugu na wadada ambao wameokoka wamepeana maisha yao kwa Yesu wataishi milele na milele kwa hivyo hekalu tunalojenga Hagai anasema try to compare it the old one this one and the temple that will come na watu ambao wana matumaini wanaweka macho mbele kuna contamination kitaka Mungu akutumikie na akusaidie jiepushe na changanya changanya kwa sababu Mungu hapendezwi na kujichanganya ukisoma verse 10 to 19 utapata kwamba Mungu anasema kumbe hata ziko ibada zingine wana wa Mungu tunafanyanga na Mungu apokee Unaweza hata toa sadaka na Mungu anasema hizo sadaka ni najisi. Unaweza hata jipeana mwenyewe na Mungu anakataa. Utakuta haga anasema kwamba please chukua nafasi wewe ujitoe kama sadaka nzuri kwa Mungu na zile sadaka unatoa pia ziwe safi kwa Mungu. Praise the name of the Lord. And I think that is why uh, Godi ulisema we thank God si tunakuanga na neno ili neno litakasa hata sadaka zetu tunapozitoa kwa Bwana zipate kibali atutaki kutoa sadaka zenye hazina kibali kwa Mungu. And now from verse 20, mistari mitatu peke yake. It is now coronation. Tell your neighbor coronation. Do you know what coronation means? Coronation is a ceremony of crowning a king or a queen. Hallelujah. Na nafurahia kuongea hii maneno Kenya baada ya kutembelewa na king. <laughs> Mtembelewa na king. Mkatembelewa na ni king ama queen? king na queen from where oh na mkamwangalia sana hata mkapiga na story eh <laughs> mlipiga na hadith mlimpa yako mkono mkamsalimia niliona hata ana, ana ataki mvue nyeshewa ana, ana ma bodyguard wanashikia yeye mavuli wanakinga yeye eh, eh? yeah, anaenda tukutuki narukisha yeye kidogo bado anakingwa hivyo yani wanaita king na queen Anyway I have good news for you. Imagine hata wewe king na queen ni mwandamu tu kama mimi na wewe. Anakulanga ugali. <laughs> Anakunywa maji anasikia kiu. Anavaa nguo. <laughs> Bwana asifiwe. Na ana bibi ana watoto ana Bwana na watoto. <laughs> yani ni kama tu mimi na wewe. Lakini tuko sababu ya kuingia hapo mahali sasa awekwe mavuli alindwe atembeshwe atembeshwe i have good news this sunday oh, yeah. wale wanasikia neno la bwana na kuliti oh, yeah. they have an opportunity oh, yeah. to be crowned yeah, yeah, yeah. hallelujah na sio crowning kama ya huyu mwenye alikuja hapa yenye itaisha siku moja ni crowning ya forever and ever Woo! i love jesus I love Jesus. Being faithful to the Lord. Being faithful on his course. A time is coming. We shall be crowned forever and ever. Praise Jesus. Thank you Pastor for testimony. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Tulilala nja. Niliendesha bike. Tulichekelewa. Tulisemwa. Niliuliza sasa sandi wewe umeshakula hapo ugali na maji ya chumvi. Nimeshakula ugali na maji ya chumvi. Na ye, na ilitaramka. Na tukasimama. Asante dadangu. Na ye, bado ni Ebenezer. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Na wacha nikwambie. Kama unakaanga dunia hii ukisema ninangoja bishop shikuku na pastani kurudi chini sahau tuliata safari ya kwenda na tunaenda tu tunaenda tu mpaka heaven yani tunaingia binguni tukimetameta tunaingia binguni tukinganga tukiingia binguni tukishine shine because of Jesus hata nina maono tena ingine nafikiri hii gari yangu inahitaji ingine I receive it in the name of the Lord. 
ni ubiri injili mwaka mzima hivi na nikosa kusonga hatua yani inaitwa kuenda mbele that's why i'm bringing the message march forward full of hope it is going forward unajua kuna wachawi wengine akikuona unanua pikipiki anasema itamweka tu chini hivi karibuni ishindwe Atigodia metembee akinunua kwa tu kabaisikeli. Anangoja ateremka na kwa lami ka hanguki. Utatembea katika jina la Yesu. Wale wamekuwa waminifu kwa Mwenyezi Mungu forward tutaenda. Na pamoja twende katika jina la Yesu. Umeona familia yenye tumesimamisha hapa? Sumeone. Wewe unaweza lisha familia kama hiyo? Unaweza. <laughs> Ukitaka kujua hakuna m- hata asubuhi ya leo nimelisha kadhaa paipai. Yaani inaitwa kwenda mbele. Niulizie jirani umelisha wako nani asubuhi ya leo? <laughs> Those who are going to remain faithful, the Lord will crown them into kings and queens. Hallelujah. What are you supposed to do? Three things. Requirement number one: looking ahead continually. Amen. 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 Looking ahead continually. Atuangali nyuma, na atuangali kando. Ahead continually. This is a person who is full of hope in everything. Matumaini. Ninajua lugha zenye zimejaa huko nje. Maneno yanayokuja usiku na mchana. Mambo yanayokuja mazungumzo ya kuturudisha chini. Ndugu yangu, dada yangu, dumu katika tumaini. Looking ahead continually. What is hope? Hope is a gift of the Holy Spirit which abides. Haikwishi inadumu milele. It is an essential characteristic of a Christian. Every Christian requires to have this essential char- character ya hope. It is not mere expectation and desire, but it includes trust, tell your neighbor trust, confidence, refuge in God. Why refuge in God? This God is the God of hope. Unapoweka matumaini yako kwake umepata Mungu mwenye matumaini. No wonder Paul says in 1 Corinthians 13, love never fails, but where there are prophecies they will cease. Where there are tongues they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge it will pass away. The last verse three things abides or remains in another version. One it is love Second it is faith third it is hope na Paul akasema but above all love ndio ya kwanza tumaini it is not just kusema nina tumaini it is a gift from the holy spirit a sunday like today unasema ambie Mungu nipe matumaini nimekutana jana na mpendo wa moja ambaye ame moyo umeshuka miezi tatu iliyopita alikuwa amesema ha na sisi tukamwambia hapana tana majemedari wa imani so yesterday we got an opportunity and we reached him about five of us and we encouraged our brother and our sister and we blessed our brother and our sister tulipokuwa tunaondoka pale wale nilikuwa nimebeba kwa gari langu walikuwa nasema ha wangepoteza milele hakika wametiwa moyo hakika wamesaidika na tulitoka hapo wamefurahi wanacheka wanataka kwenda na sisi penye tunaenda ninazungumzia hope is a gift from the holy spirit the prophet agai gave in a, this prophecy first timothy 1:1 quickly paul says an apostle of christ jesus by the command of god our savior and christ jesus who is our hope paul to timothy anamwambia timotheo usimame imara kwa sababu christ jesus in us is our hope What about Paul to Colossians chapter 1 verse 27? Anasema kwamba to them God has chosen to make known among the Gentiles the glorious riches of this mystery which is Christ in you the hope of glory. 
the hope I'm talking about is a gift of God. When Jesus comes into your life, ni lazima alete matumaini. No wonder aliambia wa wa Kristo kule Rome in Romans 15:13, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hope is a gift from the Holy Spirit. What you need to do a Sunday like today, nukuniambia buwana, na hii mambo nasikia yote, nipe matumaini. Always learn to look forward and be hopeful. Secondly, choosing to be faithful to the Lord always. Choosing to be faithful to the Lord always. Chagua kuwa muaminifu kwa mungu maisha hako yote. Dunia hii ni hiyo hiyo tu ya majaribu. Dunia hii ya maswali. Dunia hii ya kukosa. Dunia hii ya kuwa na kitu. Dunia hii ya kuchekelewa. Dunia hii ya mambo ya kila aina. Sa hile unashida ndiyo unachekwa zaidi. Ndiyo hiyo dunia tu. But let me encourage you. Ni important ata kukua na mna hiyo. Kuchagua kuwa muaminifu always. Praise the name of the Lord. Katika hali zote chagua kuwa muaminifu. Now, allow me quickly ni kuonyeshe mama chachi. The remaining verses of Haggai, every word turns to one man by the name Zerubbabel. Have you seen that? Maneno yote inageuka kwa governor. Kenya sasa tunajua ma governor. Governor wa siku ya likuwa netuwa Zerubabeli kwa kiswaili. In English, Zerubabel. The whole story turns to him. I was like, why not another person? Why Zerubabel alone? Eh? And the word of the Lord came to me, tell Zerubabel, why the governor? Why? Why focus on Zerubabel? Why not on the other people? Why not katika majina ya mejao kule juda? Are you ready for me to give you an answer? There is a time whereby God turns to a person. Ata maombi yangu ni maambio mungu. Nina maliza haga hivi. Kuna watu paka pages zao za maisha zifunguliwe. Paka zifunguliwe. Na wasonge hatu wangini. Why is the rubabo? Let me show you something. Why is everything on him? The rubabo... He was a royal line of King David. Zerubbabel. Na hii manene ya kingdom. Alikuwa wa royal kingdom. Uye alikuwa wa royal utawala wa kifalme, wa mfalme Dawdi. But instead of wearing a crown. So na juo mfalme anavanga crown. Ukienda katika Matthew chapter 1, utaona linie jia Yesu, Zerubbabel ya hako hapu. Tutamuona hivi karibuni kwa Christmas. Zerubabeli pia ni mojo wa great grandson. Na wacha hivyo. Instead of wearing a crown and sitting on a throne, as a grandson of a king, he was the, the humble governor of a struggling remnant of the Jewish nation. What a discouraging situation for a royal prime to be in. Instead of being in the king's palace akieshimiwa akifunikwa na mavuli unafikiri huyo king mwenye alikuja hapa Kenya alitoa pesa mfuko vya kule vya kule unafikiri alitoa pesa akanunua chakula unafikiri alienda mailini akanunua mandazi na, na githeri nusu unafikiri alifanya hivyo na ukipata king amekuja kunywa mandazi na githeri mailini <laughs> I'm trying to imagine what will happen. Sikumoja huyu, the richest guy in the world, alikuwa naitua Bill Gates by then. Ali happen kuonekana na Land Rover yake hii, inaituango Gingo Ginga Street. Mi likuwa natoka huko na migu, na panda panda na haka barabara hivi. Land Rover inazuma wapi ya white, ingine pale, na ingine pale. Muta anashuka, anaingia kwa farmers ya hapa. Watu hata wajui. Ndiyo kidogo wa wajuwajwe, This should be Bill Gates. Bill Gates. Hata siji media zitoka hapi na kika moja hapo hapo hapo. But 
Ilikuwa ukimwona hivi watu wasema usikanyaga hapo hapo ni pabaya. Ujui nini naweza kufanyikia hapo saa hii hii. And let me tell you hakuna watu walikaa hapo kwa wingi. Waliangaliana na kutoroka. Ukipata anaitwa Kinginani mwenye alikuja Kenya. Amekaa safari hotel anakula chai na mandazi. Eh? Sidhani hoteli utaka. Utajiuza maswali ninaota. Yaani kuna mahali mfalme anakulianga vitu vyake. Tell your neighbor anaitwa king. Tell your neighbor anaitwa queen. Hao anakulianga vitu vyao dunia ingine. Bwana asifiwe. Unafikiri wanatembeanga na pesa kwa mfuko? Naonanga Mungu akikwambia toa sadaka unajikakamua unajikakamua. Unajua unajisumbua kwa nini? Haujafika kiwango chenye unasaidi kuelewa wewe ni nani. Ungelijua dunia na vyote na uto tu shilingi ni ya Mungu unatoanga tu yote ndio unaenda home. Unafikiri kinga anatembeanga na pesa kwa mfuko? Na analalanga njaa. Analalanga njaa. Unafikiri anabembana kabagi kanguo kakubadilisha? Oi Mungu atusaidie wana glory baptize. Unafikiri kinga alikuja Kenya na kabagi kanguo? Unajua wewe ukienda reserve paka utabeba bag. I want to see Mediterranean Sea. I want to see Samaria hapo juu. I want to see where Jesus was born in Bethlehem. Mwaka huu kabla ukwisha. Sijui kama umesoma Bronjua. Bronjua leo maombi nilionayo kwako kwa welcome page ni kwamba Mungu akusaidie. Mwaka huu usifunge bila baraka zenye Mungu amekusudia kwa ajili yako kukufikia. That is my prayer for you. Mungu asaidie tu. Before the year ends, nilipata nikiletoa tu hapa report ya kwamba you've been a faithful servant serving the Lord. Hata ya ajui Mungu ndiye anajua what I do here. Akasema Najua hii tare tare moja hii yenye tulikuwa hapa tukiomba fani nilistahili niwe Palestine Israel. Everything paid for. Si mzungu paid for in Kenya. In Kenya. In Kenya. Kati moja hapa ya makanisa yetu yanawaza who are the right people to take to Israel. Wanasema one of them is in Eldoret. Anyway Kitaka kujua Bwana amenisaidia mambo kama hayo pia nina uwezo wa kusema naenda masieni. Ungekuwa wewe ninaenda ngambo. Ninaenda ngambo. Hata unaacha bibi. By the way ni reconcile mwingine maili ine juzi. Mwingine ni bibi na watoto tatu. Amepata nafasi ya sehemu na ingine Nairobi. Siji ni free conference. Anataka kuacha Bwana. Bwana ananungunika. Alamika sema zikufungui. Kwanza ni usiku naenda hapa. Naenda, naenda. Ah! Nikamwambia dada, Nairobi, unaweza enda siku nyingine. Anyway, Mungu alitusaidia hapo kuenda kwa sababu sijui kama kungekuaje. We don't just go because we are going. We go because God has said we go. Praise the name of the Lord. Ni ruhusu niseme neno wale mnaendanga Saudia mkiacha mabwana pepo hiyo shindwe Uko hapa na wanasema Saudia naenda Mnaenda Dubai ama Saudia ama Iraq Mnajua Qatar Na kainji ka Qatar nimeshakanyaga ndani kana tabu jua linatokaanga saa saa tisa. Saa tisa jua linawaka kama saa nne. Saa tisa. Saa 9 asubuhi jua naweka kama saa 4. Unajidai Qatar, Saudia. Kana watoto wako na bibi yako. Wewe marriage ni more than Qatar na Saudia. Be faithful. Be faithful and remain faithful always. Kama uliingia kwa ndoa, linda ndoa. Unaweza ukazaa watoto kwa umaskini watapelekaanga wewe ngambo usiku na mchana. Be faithful on course. Na unaweza jipeleka mwenyewe utaosha masufuria paka urudi. Nimemaliza. Ya mwisho. Hasa
Sasa unaonaje umetoka tu Kenya kama umevaa mzuri, umengara, alafu unafika wewe kujeni mnisaidie ninakufa. Uliwacha bwana. Na siku hizi pia ndoa imekuwa bei kali. Vile tutakuwa tukifanya, unamwacha tunamtafutia kasichana. Shauri yako na vitu zako hizo. Saa hii unajua watu watafanya maharusi tena. Na hii serikali ifikirie. Kuana elfa mzini. Kuana elfa mzini. Kijana ndiye anataka kuwa elfa mzini. Ati nikipotesha ID, serikali Mungu awasaidie. Muta anapochukua kitambulisho ndiye anaanza kulipa ushuru. Anatakana apewe kitambulisho free. Hapana kulipishwa kitambulisho. Namna nibe amen. Namna zamanga hivyo kwa magazeti. Ama pastor akisema nusu hey! Alafu wale nikikuja sio mimi ni bishop yetu. Wewe. Wewe. Bara serious. Kitambulisho wa Kenya wapewe free. Ikipotea ninarudia tena kitambulisho wa Kenya wapewe free. Na ikipotea kama ni nyingi ni moja hamsini. Hey. Yaani amtosheki ima pesa yote tunawapea amtosheki. Eh. Ninamalizia hivi. Rest assured in the Lord's care. Hallelujah. Rest assured in the Lord's care. The Lord again looks ahead to the end of the world when Jesus comes back again. Imagine Haggai ndio yeye anasema hata hizo kingdoms zenye zimewanyanyasa hakina Nebukadneza na Babeli hiyo ni Iran na Iraq wamewafinyilia siku inakuja Bwana mwenyewe nitashuka watageukiana wenyewe kwa wenyewe watapigana hata watoto wao watainua mapanga na kuwakata wao I am saying rest assured in the Lord's care. Praise the name of Jesus. Rest assured in the Lord's care. Tuna baba yetu. Tuna Mungu wetu. Kanda ni yake. Yuko tayari kututunza na kutusaidia na uwe na utulivu na uwe na amani. Praise the name of the Lord. Even the nations around Jerusalem even if they were large and strong, the Lord is saying through Haggai, rest assured that the Lord will care for his people. His people when it were Israel, the way he has always cared for them, he will care for them. Amen. What am I saying, Mwana Glory Baptist Church? Bwana yu pamoja nasi. Na anasema hata tuacha. Na amesema hata tupungukia. Ninapenda Zaburi 23, ambayi nasema, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right path for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff. They comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies you anoint my head with oil my cup overflows and verse 6 he says surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life and on my side i will dwell in the house of the lord forever if that is your confession stand on your feet so that we can pray and thank god